all right what's up guys welcome back to the channel i got something special for you guys today it's something that i don't do very often these days just because i've gotten so into all the racing and high-end type stuff and honestly some of my stuff has become a little unrelatable to a lot of the regular guys that watch the channel so you guys are really going to enjoy this build that we're starting here um it's more of a somewhat of a budget build um pretty cool little deal so I'm going to take you guys along, show you the parts we got for it, tell you what our plans are, and uh, so on. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I had a friend reaching out to me about wanting to build a, a two-valve, and funny enough, this uh, certain friend is an LS guy, and uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, he wants to he wants to build a little two-valve uh, for a drag week car, and so of course, you know, I was like, yeah, I have no problem doing that and uh luckily i have some old spare parts laying around that uh that we were able to salvage and we're going to use those for his uh for his build um but yeah this is going to be a it's probably going to have a torque tech kit on top of it with an eaton supercharger it might have a whipple 2.1 we're not sure yet uh it's going to run on e85 when we race it and it's going to run on 93 to cruise for the drag week week drag and drive uh top top of events so pretty cool uh kind of standard build nothing too crazy we're looking to make about 600 wheel horsepower with it somewhere in that area and uh, we'll get into the details and all that so you guys probably recognize this this is my old wap block this was the block that was in the car when it broke the timing chain and so the only reason that i took this out of the car was that it was already bored 10 over which is about as far as i'll go on a stock on a on a bore for the kind of power that I'm running, so I took it out and uh, got a got a new block and bored it out ten over for my new piston. So this has just been sitting on the shelf. Um, it already has the ARP main studs in it. Uh, we went with uh, gonna have the ARP side bolts in it here. I think those are pretty important on these builds. You see those looking pretty good in there, and. You know, the cool thing is, you know, a lot of guys out there, you know, they'll say that these WAP blocks won't handle the 700 horsepower, but we were able to make about 1,300 at the flywheel, probably calculating around 1,100 at the wheels, uh, enough to go five O's and eight mile at about 3,200 pounds. So I've had the block out, looks good. A couple of my secrets real quick that I do to make these things stay alive. Um, I deburr all the edges. Deburr all the edges that I can on these. They're cast aluminum, so you want to deburr the edges of everything to prevent any stress risers. So I go through, spend a lot of time doing that. I port the oil pump holes for a little bit better oil flow. And then also these these blocks will get the up, get upgraded timing uh, pins here as well. The factory ones just aren't strong enough to handle two steps and rev limiters and stuff, and they break. So. Those get upgraded, which this already has done. So this thing's ready to rock. It's gonna get board 20 over for our new DSS pistons, which I'll show you guys in a second. We're gonna use a stock crank in this build. This is just a regular old cast, uh, whatever they are, six bolt crank, which, you know, guys ask a lot, how much horsepower will these things handle? And, I mean, the general consistency is they're pretty good up to about 700 wheel horsepower so this is going to work out fine for us no issues it's going to have to get micro polished at the machine shop it's got a little bit of surface rust on the journals but other than that it should clean up work out pretty well so definitely on a little bit of a budget with this build so it's going to have gen 2 coyote rods in it these are the same as the boss 302 rods pretty strong I don't have any issue trying to push this thing to 600, even 700 wheel horsepower with the right amount, with the correct tuning and fuel and everything else in it. I think these will hold up fine. These are a lot more robust than your stock rods that would have come in this block. So fairly inexpensive. I think I had to buy one extra for him. You're looking at about $32 shipped on eBay. You could probably even find them cheaper if you get a little creative with where you're looking for them. So you really don't want to skimp on certain things, right? We're on a budget and you know, you've heard the saying, buy once, cry once. And I mean, it really is true, right? So if you're on a budget, you're not going to have the money to rebuild something like this. So if it takes you a little bit more time to save up for 
certain parts that you don't want to skimp out on, you want to do those the first time, right? So you don't have to go back into this thing. It's reliable and it does what you want. So you can't skip out on head studs. We got the standard 8740 head studs here. I've made over 700 wheel horsepower. No head gasket issues with these, so no problems there. And then moving over to the pistons, we got a set of DSS racing pistons. Man, these things are nice. Took about two weeks to get these in. No valve reliefs or anything like that on them, but our compression ratio is gonna be about 10 and a half to one with those. Very nice setup there. So this thing is gonna get This thing is gonna get some ported PI heads. We had some PI heads sitting here. My friend took them to his other friend who ports heads, so those are gonna get ported with the cams, the valve springs, everything. This thing should easily make five, 600 wheel horsepower with an Eaton or a Kenny Bell on top of it. Should be really reliable. Should be a really fun drag week type of setup. It's gonna be pretty cool. So I'm getting this stuff ready to go to the machine shop. Board 20 over, gonna do a couple other small things and get it back and we'll start putting it together. Probably be a little bit, but you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna keep y'all updated on this build. Like I say, really relatable, really cool, and uh, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna follow this project all the way through, and you guys will get to see the car it's gonna go into, the power we make, all that stuff. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, so. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.